Donald Trump is the biggest threat the American Republic has ever faced. So says Dick Cheney in an advert supporting his daughter, Liz Cheney. Should the Democrats be loving on Liz Cheney? Should all of us be loving on Dick Cheney? Have we all forgotten who Dick Cheney actually is? <laughs> Hello there, you 5.8 million awakening wonders. Thank you for joining me on this journey of awakening. There is a great light within you that you are cultivating, that you are bringing to the fore. You needn't be cast into the shadows no more. Turn on the notification bell because I've got a sneaking suspicion that the algorithm has turned against us. And I want you to know about every single bit of content that we release because we release it for you. It is your voice bouncing right back at you, which you might think would be useless, but hopefully it's entertaining and improved by hard facts. Hard facts like... Dick Cheney, whether he likes his own daughter or not, is not someone who can just turn up on the television calling people evil without us pointing out that he did, under false pretenses, kill children. In our nation's 246 year history. They say you don't judge a book by its cover, but if the cover of a book is, I'm an evil cross between the emperor out of Star Wars. I'm looking forward to completing your training. J.R. Ewing. Hello, daddy. And just the snarling bastard. <laughs> then judge it by that cover. There has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. Except, I don't know, maybe me, when I said that there was WMDs in Iraq when there wasn't, and then killed like a lot of Iraqis, and then profited through Halliburton. Like, look, I know loads of you love Donald Trump, and I know loads of you don't love Donald Trump, but I don't think there's that many of you that go, do you know who I miss? Dick Cheney. What I liked about him in particular was his snarling, downright evil. Now, you know, I believe he's a human being and therefore an expression of the limitless light and love from which we are all formed. And his love of his daughter as a father of a daughter, I could not be more sympathetic towards. But using that kind of rhetoric just reminds me how messed up American politics is. The Democrat Party is supporting Liz Cheney. Dick Cheney is opposing Donald Trump. In a sense, it seems like the whole system is invested primarily and above all else in preventing you, ordinary Americans, Americans, us, ordinary people, from having meaningful democratic impact on our own lives and political systems. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. He tried to steal the last election. I feel like I remember you stealing an election. Don't you remember that? If you're about my age or older, I don't know what your age you are, but all that hanging chads and all that stuff that went on in Florida. I mean, didn't they literally steal an election? Many tens of thousands of registered voters were purged from Florida's voters poll before the election in a deeply flawed process. Now, as you know, I don't believe that Al Gore was about to save the world unless he was going to bore us all to death so that we couldn't operate our cars. But I still think that Dick Cheney and the Republican Party ain't great guys. Using lies and violence to keep himself in power after the voters had rejected him. Lies and violence. Could there be a better description of the Iraq war than lies and violence? Here are the lies. They've got weapons of mass destruction. And here comes the violence. Listen, why don't you just concentrate on that statue being pulled down and shut the fuck up? We all enjoy a statue being pulled down, don't we? Well, actually, we don't like that anymore either. Oh, fuck it hell! <laughs> He's a coward. A real man wouldn't lie to his supporters. Can you think of a more succinct depiction of a lying coward than a man that lied to the American people, causing the deaths of American service personnel, military personnel, in order to pursue what appear to be financial objectives. What could be worse than that? I can't think of anything. Oh no, I just did. And he probably did that as well. He lost his election and he lost big. I know it, he knows it, and deep down, I think most Republicans know it. Also, how can he not have enough self-knowledge to think, well, right, well probably what's gonna be good is if I go on video and support this. Listen, you bastard scum punks, you better support Liz Cheney. I'm Dick Cuddly Old Uncle Dick Cheney. Merry Christmas. Donald Trump's a son of a bitch. He's not like me, a natural on camera, warm and full of light and life. I tip it a hat to you, Mom. Now, if you need any Iraqi children bombs, just let me know, especially if there's a dollar bill in it. Lynn and I are so proud of Liz for standing up for the truth, doing what's right. Music as well. Grow up? What do you mean we are actual idiots? Honoring her oath to the Constitution when so many in our party are too scared to do so. Liz is fearless. What surprise she's fearless if she grew up with bedtime stories from him. Once upon a time. Ah! Ah! She never backs down from a fight. There is nothing more important she will ever do than lead the effort to make sure Donald Trump is never again near the Oval Office. Doesn't matter if he goes near it. <laughs> and she will succeed. 
I am Dick Cheney. I proudly voted for my daughter. The very essence of dumb rhetoric. I voted for my daughter. I hope you will. I didn't vote for her. I was too busy drinking blood from a coffin and punching an Iraqi kid in the face in order to make some money and some construction deals and some fuel deals. Oh, but then I did vote for her, actually. I hope you will, too. Let's remind ourselves, if such a thing were necessary, of the reality of Dick Cheney. Under George W. Bush, Cheney pushed the intelligence community to come up with evidence for a link between Iraq and Al-Qaeda that never existed. Just remind yourself of that. There was no link. There wasn't one. American service people died. Iraqi people died for no reason. Well, there was a reason. It was to make money. We'll get to that. The Iraq war caused 1.2 million deaths, including 4,500 US service members. It cost the US taxpayers $2 trillion. Was it worth it, though? No. Cheney earned $44 million as CEO of Halliburton in the 1990s, despite having virtually no business experience. Have you got any business experience? Virtually none, unless you include wearing this hat and snarling. Well, we can, can give you $44 million. That'll do. <laughs> Halliburton gained $39.5 billion in federal contracts related to the Iraq war. What a coincidence. This is from Jacobin. The Democrats marked the anniversary of January the 6th by remembering the breaching of the Capitol as an attack on democracy. Again, I have no strong view on that, whether that's an, a protest, an insurrection or a riot. What I do have a strong view on is you can't treat something as a desecration of a sacred space when American democracy treats people so appallingly, when the American Republic doesn't respect the people that it was founded to serve. Oh, our democracy! That's where we do all of our corruption from! This is the capital! This is where we receive all of our lobbying money! Pelosi's over there, possibly, allegedly, giving information to Paul Pelosi so he can invest better! How dare you desecrate! You came in here in a silly hat, you bastard! Oh, oh! You think that democracy is a front just so that we can grant business favours to lobbyists and to the people that fund our That Capitol building was there for a surprise birthday party and you ruined it. You're just like your father. Republicans were less eager to do so. During the official congressional ceremony, only two Republicans chose to attend. One was Liz Cheney and the other was her father, Dick Cheney. Just the Cheney gang. Numerous Democrats reportedly walked over to Cheney to shake his hand. Thanks for sticking up for us. Don't worry about those dead Iraqi children. What the fuck does that matter now? That old man in that buffalo hat. Ugh, that was terrible. Now we can get back to killing children in foreign countries at a price that's right. I find it difficult to put into words how shameful venerating Cheney like this is by anyone, much less the country's supposed left-wing party. Almost as if there is no left-wing party. If what you mean by left-wing party is a party that's there to serve ordinary people and not there to serve business interests. And it's particularly jarring given that Cheney has dedicated his career to attacking democracy, the very thing the ceremony was supposedly in opposition to. Cheney was the most powerful vice president in US history. He is most remembered for his role in promoting the Iraq war, an illegal war of aggression predicated on lies. War is always bad anyway, isn't it? There's no wars that are really great. But one predicated on lies that was illegal. That's the worst type of war, surely. Cheney's administration pushed the limits of executive power and spawned some of the worst human rights abuses in US history after 9-11, which included torture, detention without trial, including of US citizens, and warrantless surveillance of millions of American citizens. This is still going on to this day. Snowden's revelations, Assange's revelations, all relate to stuff that kind of began or at least went into turbo speed under Cheney. All this was predicated on a shocking legal theory that gave the president sweeping wartime powers that neither Congress nor the courts could check. As they were fighting a global war with no borders, this meant that not even US citizens in the United States were safe from the wartime president's rampages. It takes a pretty breathtaking amount of chutzpah for Dick Cheney, of all people, to attack anyone else for trying to steal an election. Cheney became vice president, and at least in the early years of the Bush administration, something like the de facto co-president when he and George W. Bush successfully stole the 2000 election. Set aside the fact that half a million more Americans voted for the Democratic ticket of Al Gore, <laughs> and Joe Lieberman than for George Bush and Dick Cheney, in an actually democratic system, that would be the only number that mattered. And just like Trump's failed attempt to overturn the 2020 election, Bush and Cheney's successful electoral manipulation 20 years ago involved riots designed to shut down key points in the process. The January 6th riot briefly delayed the certification vote in the Senate. By contrast, the 2000 Brooks Brothers riot in Florida actually shut down the recount with the goal of giving more time to the Bush-Cheney team's legal machinations. 
Compared to Dick Cheney's crimes against democracy, Trump is an amateur. Cheney reduced nations to rubble, shredded the Bill of Rights, and enacted programs of surveillance, abduction, detention, and torture more in line with the state terrorism of military dictatorships than the norms of liberal democracy. To venerate Cheney, as Democrats in Congress did, is to show complete contempt for democracy. And is why you have anti-establishment figures like Donald Trump, who are able to come out and say things like, drain the swamp, you can't trust any of them, they're all in cahoots, with big business. I used to give them money. I know what they're like. They're all crooks and criminals. And when you see someone cross the floor to shake Dick Cheney's hand, it shows you where their alliance is with each other, not with you. They're there with each other. They care about each other all day long. You, pff, you're there as long as you can pay taxes and vote. Otherwise, you can fuck off. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Who was worse for American democracy, Dick Cheney or Donald Trump? Do you now finally understand why figures like Donald Trump become important, relevant, even some would argue necessary? Do you see now how people feel when those figures are attacked in mainstream media? I am no fan of Donald Trump. I know a lot of you are. I believe that what we need is more community level democracy, more individual freedom, more more accountability, less big media, big agriculture, big pharma, big business, an end to globalization and real power for real people in your communities. That's just what I think though. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Watch either of these two videos if you like this one. That one in particular is a real little winner. And sign up to my mailing list right there. We do online events most weeks. We do live events and we go a little deeper with these stories and it's vital that we have direct contact with you in case big tech turn against us. We need you to turn on the notification bell, subscribe, but more important than any of that, please, if you can, stay free.